everyone today i present to you when to play engineer so in this video i will be talking about when you should pick the engineer class in a round after i tell you about my donator thank you lol man for this kind and humble gesture of donating me this rancho relaxer taunt which i have been waiting for months now if it's your first time here in this channel and you want to learn more about engineer and watch some entertaining videos then be sure to subscribe okay now intro is over let's start the video as i can talk about the defending red side and the blue attacking side together i'll split the video into two parts so first i'll talk about being on the blue side as being blue engineer is much easier than being the red ng who has lot of responsibilities at the start of the round if you see more than one ng you might not want to pick the ng class as picking medic is way better as you can never go wrong with two or even three meds now if you don't see any engineers at the start of the round feel free to pick ng but bear in mind if there is any power classes or medic lacking you should pick those and please for the love of god please don't stack engineer on ctf maps nah you just ain't doing it right now after the round has progressed to the second point of either payload or first point of attack defense map be sure to place the teleporters to help your team secure the win if you need help in engineer roles be sure to check out this playlist i've included some great tips which will help you secure the win much faster and easier however if your team is doing a bad job of progressing the offense you might want to change to a different class like pyro with a back scratcher to help the medic build over faster or a power class as your main goal is to win the game but there can be exceptions in casual as it is casual and you should have fun in casual matches but bear in mind this tactic doesn't simply apply to koth cp and payload race maps as both sides are doing the same thing there there is no single team that's attacking or defending both sides have to do the same so there are some situations where you should not pick engineer and these are some situations where you should not pick engineer but you can play offensive defense engineer with the jag and level 2 sentry while on the blue team now coming to the red side or the defending side of the payload and attack defense maps being engineer on this side is crucial as sentry is a killing machine which kills every opposing team player but it is not very smart so that's why you come in and save the day i mean save the sentry of course here two engineers are good if your team is pretty much okay ish but if your team is getting you time building the sentry nest then it's a good team but you can also be the third engineer whose main goal is to be a battle ng and provide support with aggressive dispenser and mini sentry placements also being a distraction and placing sneaky tellies and minis will help your team a lot i mean a lot but it depends if the other ng on your team is doing fine there will be some situations where an ng will not be required in the team that's good as it means the team coordination is good but a single uber can push through and destroy everyone so that's where a sentry comes in an ng in defense is always necessary as he can provide much more support than the medic now talking about ubers being the second ng with a sentry is a very good strategy as an uber combo can focus two targets at once so even if one gets destroyed the other can still protect the point but there are always exceptions as experienced players can still destroy two sentries so to prevent this from happening i put together a great guide so be sure to watch it after watching this video now as previously shown here are some situations where you should pick engineer on defense
and here are some situations where you should not pick engineer on defense but there are always some exceptions like being a battle ng with frontier justice and getting crits now i have a thing to say that is i might not be able to post new videos for like one or two weeks because of my exams are coming and i got to study but if i get time i'll be sure to make some content if i get time that is and the video is over if you like my content then go like and subscribe and go watch this video or else um i'll eat your cookie hehe <laughs> pretty tasty stuff never bye